guys, I want to welcome you to the weekly Wednesday for the Financial Freedom Newsletter, where every week, every Wednesday, we delve into something inspirational, motivational, something excerpt taken from the Financial Freedom Weekly Newsletter. Wherever you are, if you're listening on Spotify, on iTunes, Google, be sure to click the like, subscribe, share, comment. Without ado, let's get into the show. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Financial Freedom Newsletter. And wherever you are, wherever you're listening, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and subscribe to the newsletter in the links in the show notes below. So today is going to be talking all about longevity and playing the long game. So our culture and our society is conditioned to want everything now quick and fast and it's kind of sidestep what it takes to be success successful. So growing up I always wanted everything quick and fast. I was always impatient about getting to the next milestone, making it. And this ambition and drive no doubt helped me, but also caused a lot of frustration and hiccups when things didn't work out or turn out the way as I had originally planned. So one day a mentor gave me the best piece of advice and he talked about slowing down. It's not about the destination, it's a journey. And again, it sounds cliche, but we deal with this arrival fallacy every day. We're conditioned by society and media to think that everything is going to work out if and when. So when, if, everything is dependent upon external circumstances. So it's endless and we have to learn to tune that out and focus on the moment and the underlying fundamentals. It's much like uh, sports, so if you look at fast-paced sports such as uh, basketball, uh, soccer, American football, compared to slow games such as, you know, baseball, golf, baseball, golf, not very exciting, not very slow, but the athletes there have to focus on each moment in time, execute to perfection, Um, and that over the course of a game or series, they'll come out on top. So when the players are impatient or force things, that's when mistakes happen, and it cost them the games or career. So this always reminds me time and get time again, these examples uh, to slow down, take a bird's eye perspective and play the long game. It's all about longevity. So a couple questions for you to think and ponder about. What if you achieve everything you want in your 20s and then you lose it all in your 30s? You never make it back. Like let's say you never make it to the finish line. Uh, or if you achieved your dream, but then you're single, alone, burnt out, depressed, angry. Um, other question to think about is what if you failed in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, uh, and yet made it big in your 60s and made up for all of that lost time? So you can see that with um, Abraham Lincoln, Colonel Sanders, Walt Disney, Steve Jobs, all these individuals. So sometimes what you're t- trying to take to achieve will take 20 years instead of 10 and those 20 years are preparing you to maintain and keep that success so universe has its own timing all we can do is set an intention plan prepare and leave the rest to a higher power so when we let go we allow the law of attraction the law of relaxation and the law of letting go uh, but when we're desperate and need a particular outcome it becomes repellent so uh I always tell my clients, stay in their lanes, don't worry, everybody has their own path, don't worry about what other people are doing, keep producing, keep adding value, focus on details and fundamentals and the results will follow. So play the long game, think longevity, business, career, life are marathons, not sprints. So if you think about it, someone who tries to sprint the marathon isn't going to make it very far compared to someone who's more strategic with his or her energy on game day. So they may look great in the beginning, but unable to finish by race end. So it's about finishing strong and getting to the finish line, not getting there first. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, Again, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. 
check out the newsletter. And with that, we thank our ads and our sponsors, and we'll see you next time. I hope you really enjoyed that wonderful, inspirational, motivational piece. Again, if you, wherever you are listening, if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. We're on everywhere, Spotify, iTunes, Google, Amazon, Audible. And without much ado, be sure to thank this show's sponsors, and we'll see you next week.